All right, good morning. It is March 7th, 2024, and you're listening to PNW Today, streaming on WJOB and Jet TV, as well as Facebook Live. My name is Kayla Wolke. I serve as Communications Specialist in PNW's Office of Marketing and Communications, and we have a special episode on deck for PNW Today. I'm joined by Karen Sullivan, Noemi Elizalde, and Sal Cordova, and why I have them with me today is because we're going to be talking about Founders Day and specifically Founders Day Award recipients because all three of these folks, as well as a few others at Purdue Northwest, uh, got to have their moment in the spotlight and to be recognized for the awesome work that they do on campus to uh, support uh, our campus community, our students, and so much more. And so we're going to dive a little bit into uh, what they enjoy about being at the university. So uh, to just give uh, their titles, uh, so Karen is our Director of Building and General Services. Karen, thank you so much for being here this morning. Thank you for having me. Noemi is our Graduation and Records Manager in the Office of the Registrar. Noemi, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for inviting us. Of course. And last but certainly not least, Sal Cordova, Assistant Director for Student Life Programming and Administration in our wonderful Office of Student Life. Sal, thank you so much for being here as well. Absolutely. Thanks, Gail. So let me just shout out a few upcoming items for our uh, folks that are listening out there. So shout out to our friends, the Career Center, the Spring 2024 Career Expo is going to be coming up on Wednesday, March 20th. That's going to be 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the Fitness and Recreation Center on the Hammond campus. And employers are going to be offering full-time and internship opportunities across different, in- different industries, disciplines, academic majors. So dress to impress and bring your resume. Uh, for more information, visit pnw.edu forward slash career dash center. And since it is March, see, I see Sal, he's, he's uh, sporting that Women's History Month t-shirt. Awesome, awesome. Uh, it is, uh, it's March, and that means it is Women's History Month. So there's still plenty of time to catch different activities at Purdue Northwest in celebration of WIST. That's the acronym that, that we like to use with our committee, WIST. Uh, so just as some examples, so for today, our College of Nursing, they're going to be having a historical health achievements tabling event from noon to 3 p.m. There's going to be a documentary screening tomorrow for International Women's Day, uh, hosted by the Intersectional Feminist Alliance. And then we're going to have spring break. And then uh, not not too long after that, we're going to have our uh, leadership luncheon on campus uh, where we invite our uh, women student leaders uh, to be honored and recognized. We'll have Walk a Mile in Her Shoes. We're also uh, going to have our women's art exhibition with chess again, and uh, definitely got a shout out Unleashing Empowerment, which is going to bring together um, three key alumni to share their stories, their inspirational stories, and uh, talk about their professional journeys. And that'll be kind of the finale on March 28th. Uh, So if anybody wants to find out more information and to register for events, pnw.edu forward slash women's dash history. And we, of course, have to go ahead and shout out our friends in athletics. So today, uh, ice hockey, they are going to be playing uh, number 22 seed Indiana, Pennsylvania in the ACHA D1 tournament. And that's going to be uh, in the early part of the afternoon, starting around it was 1 or 1.30 p.m. And uh, so you can certainly go to pnwathletics.com. And you can check out uh, how to get signed up for Flow Sports uh, or Flow Hockey to be able to stream the game there. But I also do want to give a shout out because our lovely friends in Student Life have, uh, they're going to have a watch party in yes. the main zone today. So uh, Sal's going to be uh, making the popcorn for us. So. <laughs> yes, very excited. Not to burning. Some popcorn. <laughs> no. It's going to be good. <laughs> so in the early afternoon, if you want to come out and uh, catch the pride in action, uh, there will be a watch party in the main zone, one thirty p.m. Come cheer, cheer on the pride. And I will also just, of course, shout out that uh, since spring is not too far off, you know, not only the season, but also our spring sports are getting underway. So if you want to come out and, and cheer on baseball, softball, uh, tennis, golf, track and field, we've got it all this spring uh, with Pride Athletics. Uh, just as an example, uh, for baseball, Friday, March 22nd, that's going to be a double header against Davenport. So if you want to find out more information, look for season tickets, pnwathletics.com. Uh, that's the place to go. All right, that's all that I wanted to just go ahead and shout out. And if there's anybody that's just tuning in, uh, just as a reminder, so we're, we're talking about all things Founders Day. And so to give a little bit of an idea about what Founders Day is. So we, so we had our, our eighth annual celebration last week on March 1st. And what Founders Day is, it's an annual campus tradition that we have during the spring. 
And it's an opportunity for us to not only uh, celebrate the anniversary of the university's founding and becoming Purdue Northwest, but it's also a chance to reflect on our mission to serve students, to provide a transformative change for Northwest Indiana, as well as to recognize a few outstanding faculty, staff, and students at Purdue Northwest. Um, we, you know, for example, we have a, a years of service parade to go, you know, in the increments of like 5, 10, 15, and, and on up. And then there's always the lovely chance for, uh, there's nominations that happen for uh, all these different uh, students, faculty, and staff that uh, meet the criteria for uh, certain awards, like administrative leadership, clerical and service management, and administrative professional. And so the guests that we have on here, Karen Sullivan, Noemi Elizalde, and Sal Cordova, each came away last week with an award of their own. Karen received the Outstanding Administrative Leadership Award, Noemi uh, came with the Outstanding Management and Administrative Professional Award, and Sal uh, had the Outstanding Management and Administrative Professional Award. So to go ahead and, and start out here, go ahead and, and tell us a little bit about your work history at PNW and what it is that you do now with your role. Karen, we're going to go I'm and start, start with you. Well, I knew you were going to start with me. <laughs> um, I have been at Purdue University Northwest um, since 1995, 28 and a half years. I started as a clerk in the police department. Um, under facilities. They were under facilities. I remained in facilities pretty much my uh, entire career here. Um, I became uh, event management. Um, I oversee the university moves. I moved into a manager of special events. I moved into assistant director of facilities operations, which also involved being oversight of not just building services, but grounds. Uh, when we merged, um, I was director of building services and that for both campuses. I was already director in building services at the Hammond campus. I am now director of building services and general services. They came, general services came under facilities in August of 2023. So I do a little of everything and that I do, um, we do university moves, we do university um, event support, we do the cleaning, we do the servicing, we do the travel between the campuses, we do the mail service and that. That kind of all falls under my um, oversight. Originally in that, I did the event scheduling and academic scheduling because originally in that they were combined in that. So I kind of had my hands in a lot of everything. I wear many hats and I love what I do. I know, and as you were and listening I, off, I, I was like, okay, one hat, two hat, three hat. No, and, and, and exactly to Karen's point, if it, for anybody that's listening, uh, if, it, if it wasn't clearly emphasized, Karen does a lot, and we appreciate her so much for it. Uh, Noemi, go ahead and tell us a little bit about you. Well, I started as a part-timer here. I just, in 2007, I was working for the Office of Financial Aid. Then I worked for two and a half years or so. Then I went into a full-time position in the Office of Admissions and stood there for quite a bit of time until I went into the Office of the Registrar. There I was, I was the uh, certifying official, uh, veterans official, and then now I am now the graduation and records manager. I love what I do because I'm working with the students, faculty, staff, everyone really, just like Karen, <laughs> and without all the other departments. We couldn't do what we're doing. So it's really nice to see that. But like I said, I'm right in the office of the registrar, and I love what I do with the graduation ceremony and commencement. Exactly. Well, and if there's anybody, for example, that, that's an alum that's listening, <laughs> uh, you know, if one of the things that, that, I, that is always uh, a, a site that I always remember is that as, when the graduates are starting their procession, mm -hmm. you are always there <laughs> cheering them on. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I want to get them hyped up, and I don't know if I should, but <laughs> I really, it's their day, and that's how right. I see it. It's just to see them, and I want them to feel that. And to see them, I'm giving them high fives. I'm clapping for them because, hey, this is their day. There's, this is their day to shine. And I want to make sure that they know that. Exactly. So, yes. yes. So you saw that. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, Sal, the man. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Tell us a little bit about you, too. Uh, sure. So uh, uh, I'm a recent graduate from Purdue University Northwest. I got my bachelor's in math. 
uh, in 2018. Uh, got my master's in business administration in 2021. Um, and then uh, uh, I started working again with Purdue um, uh, July of 2022 in the Office of Student Life. So I've been uh, in this role. Uh, sort of it kind of changes and the the expectations change, but uh, working in office student life since since then, uh, and it's been uh, pretty spectacular. So we do um, many of the student activities uh, uh, for the general student body, and we house over um, 80 student organizations uh, uh, within our office. So very excited. I get to work uh, with students on the front line, uh, and it's uh, it's awesome. Yeah, well, and and I. It's because I love to go ahead and hype people up. <laughs> Sal, Sal is, uh, you know, he's 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 very polite, very humble. Yes. But I also do want to shout out a uh, standout student athlete uh, during your <laughs> yes. time as well, it's, and it's a also... member of the PNW Athletics Hall of Fame yes. as well. So <laughs> definitely got to shout that out. We yes. we are we are <laughs> in the presence of greatness here. Standout cross country uh, athlete uh, during your time uh, yes. as a student here at Purdue Northwest. So thank, thank you, you for giving a little bit uh, of an idea about uh, the overview that all of you folks do. Uh, you know, different uh, uh, tasks and and some unique responsibilities uh, among the three of you. So tell me a, a, a little bit as well about what your favorite things are about working in your role. Are you going to start with me? I am going to start with you again, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> um, I love working with the entire campus because that's what I do. I love working with the students, the faculty, the staff. I love working with external customers because, we, you know, we got our hands in all that. And I just feel so good to be a there for them and that I just love it. I, I love working with the campus community yeah. that is really my top favorite mm -hmm. well and i'll and i'll ask a follow-up question so uh so karen you, you uh, help with uh, a bunch of the direction for grounds and facilities uh you're helping uh people with logistics for events uh it, and it, as we were talking for the in the studio uh or outside the studio earlier uh you're an early bird but sometimes you're, you're here late as well helping uh students, faculty, and staff uh, with their event planning right. and logistics. So you're kind of the glue that you're part of the glue that, that holds it all together, right? Uh, well, actually, my staff's the glue that holds it all, all together. I may be like the start of it because without them and that yeah. and facilities and that we work very closely as a team, um, I couldn't do what I do. And that. Mm -hmm. so, uh, yes, I, I do work hours in that. But you know what? If I can be there and students are really at the reasons I'm here a lot longer – Hey, and that I will do whatever I need to do. They are our top priority is making sure that what they do is a success. That's our goal, right? Exactly. We want to make sure everyone, but even, even my staff, I'm very, very big on um, helping promote them mm -hmm. and to um, just kind of, you know, my goal is to make sure that they're successful as well as our students and that and what they do. That is my goal for whatever I can do to help them. That's what, I, what I'm here to do. Mm -hmm. That's how I feel. That's awesome. And we love you for yeah, that. Well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Noemi, how about you? Wow. Well, it's the same like Karen. Why are we here? We're here for our students. I'm so glad to be a part of that and be able to touch their lives in some small way, you know, whether it's helping them um, register for a class, whether it's giving them directions as to, to our websites and to find information. If I'm not the person, I will tell them who they should go to. But it is. It's a community. It's that little village that we are, and we are all together. And without facilities, without faculty and staff, students, my gosh, without them, we're nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we are here for the students, and that's why I'm here. And I am just, I love it. I was a student as well, and so I know what it's like. And so, and then I'll be a part of their growth, basically. I'm so just proud to be a part of that and just being here. You know, and like sell here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's the reason why we were here. Right. You know, yeah. and to see the growth that he's doing. Right. So, and mm -hmm. but other than that, it's the my own um, work family. That's what I call them. We work together and we lean on each other. And Karen, you know, that's yes. a big part. You have to yes. have that that connection with your coworkers. But they're my work family. They're not my coworkers. They're my family, mm -hmm. and I just love them. And without them, I couldn't do it. And then again, without the extended family, right. basically, the, all mm -hmm. the other departments and those who mm -hmm. helped me with commencement, without them, I couldn't do it. My volunteers, 
who want to be a part of that. So I am just so grateful, and that's what I look forward to every day. So, but yeah, Excellent. Thank you. Of course. And Sal, what do you, what do you look forward to? for a work day and what do you enjoy the most about your role <laughs> uh su surprise surprise it's it's the students um, <laughs> i know that's the that's the theme but that's really the it mission is. of what we're, we're at this table to do um is uh, uh provide uh this awesome experience uh for the people that walk through our doors the the people in our community the students um i have this super awesome privilege to work uh, directly inside the main zone um, where a lot of students gather every day uh, between their classes. Um, we hold events in there uh, and it's spectacular. I, I, I get to work with students on a daily basis. Um, uh, it's very often that I have students in my office uh, trying to help them as much as I can to plan events and think about uh, uh, some of those event details they might have not thought about and um, that's what, that's what makes it special. So, yeah, well, and, and it's great that all of you mentioned that, uh, that, uh, that absolutely indeed that we are here to help the students and for all of you at, at, uh, one point or another, you have earned several degrees from Purdue Northwest. So you're able to bring a, a unique, uh, perspective to how you help students in your various capacities. So what can you share about that with, uh, having that firsthand knowledge of what it's like to earn a degree at Purdue Northwest and how that impacts how you interact with yeah. students. I earned, um, cause I figured you're going to start with me. <laughs> 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 I earned, um, four degrees while working here full time at, um, Purdue University Northwest. Um, I have associate degree, a bachelor's degree and two masters. I bring that knowledge because I share with, everyone I encounter in that, that there's the possibility of what you can do that, you know, we have a lot to offer, you know, and it's like, you know, I wouldn't be where I am if I wasn't given those offers, you know, I wouldn't be able to be successful. So I want to show them that yes, you know, in that you may start here, but look at where you can go and grow, you know, we can grow professionally, but also personally. And that, so that's what I share with um, everyone I encounter. I share that as I was doing my degrees and that because I was um, a little older than a lot of us <laughs> in, in my classes, but I was able to show them and that, that, you know, there's never give up. There's, you are never too old to do, to, to go back to school, to do what you want to do. You're, you know, age is only a number. I'm always saying that. So I share all that, what I've accomplished over the years, to help them realize that they can do whatever they want to do. They just have to put their mind to it. Yeah, okay. absolutely. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, I also uh, graduated with a associate's degree and a Bachelor of Arts in Business. So with that, again, I was your non-traditional student. So I was taking night classes when they offered them right. back in the day. <laughs> but I also did take some... Uh, during the day, because again, I was working here at Purdue, and they allowed me the flexibility to take those classes. So I was in the classes with young, much younger students <laughs> than myself <laughs> at that time. And so it was just interesting, like Karen said, is to have that mix and to educate them as well, but also to just keep persevering onward and moving for, for forward because of the obstacles that we have. We had obstacles, and that's what others have. We just don't see it. People have obstacles. They work night shift, and mm -hmm. they're here probably during the day to take classes. And we have to be aware of that. And you are out of the country of your home safe, and you're here. And this is a struggling time for you, but we're here, and we understand that. So that's the whole point is we're here, and we can help you. We know what it's like. First generation, I had no idea of anything. So, and we're all, right. you know, trying to teach each other because that's what we want them to know, to teach others as well, to move forward, pass mm -hmm. it on, moving onward. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Powering onward. Yes, Powering we do. Onward, yeah. <laughs> and how about you, Sal? Absolutely. Um, yeah, I had, uh, I guess my, with my collegiate experience, uh, Kale had mentioned that I, I did run a lot of cross country um, <laughs> over that, that period of time and um, uh, finding that balance. Uh, uh, be me remembering now finding that balance between class and, and, and practice, you know, sometimes having to jump 
uh, directly, you know, bring your books with you to practice so that you can go directly to class. Uh, so, sometimes not not having that opportunity to shower, um, yeah. but you gotta uh, you gotta do what you gotta do. And re- remembering uh, that kind of gives me some context for for a lot of the students that that we see um, uh, at the university. Um, I think P and W uh, is a pretty special place. Uh, um, uh, looking back at the professionals that. Uh, I had the opportunity to work with, and some of them, a lot of them are, are, are still here today, uh, is, you know, uh, PNW attracts these, these people who really care uh, and are passionate about students. Um, and I think uh, that, that impact is, is there. Uh, it definitely reflects on some of our students uh, during their time here and after graduation. Yeah, absolutely. So just to repeat, for the awards that all of you received uh, on Founders Day last week, so Karen received the Outstanding Administrative Leadership Award. Noemi got the Outstanding Management and Administrative Professional Award. And Sal uh, received the Outstanding Management and Administrative Professional Award as well. So how do you feel being honored among your peers? I, I, and I'm starting with yeah, you, Karen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was ready to talk. Yes. And that I am very overwhelmed. I am so honored. And that it's honored to be nominated, that people think of you to nominate you. And, and it's everyone who's nominated really is well-deserving in that. But when I look at it, and that it, it really touches my heart because I also think that it's not just my award. It's the award that I have with my staff and supervisors in that it's th- as much thirds because I can't do and I've said this before what I do without them mm-hmm. but it's so honored that that I do it just because it's me it's who <laughs> I am you know I mean it is and that I am I'm not going to change it's who I am I love helping people I love doing what I do but it is nice to realize that it's noticed right because I don't do it to be noticed I just do it and that but it, it is it's such an honor and I am so overwhelmed and yeah. thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, All right, Noemi. Well, as Karen had said, just to be nominated was such a thrill and an honor Mm-mm. because I was up against several beautiful, wonderful people who work awesome. You know, they're do- great at their jobs, and yet I was selected. That was just the icing on the cake that I was overwhelmed <laughs> I, because I didn't think I was going to. But like I said, I was just, just to be nominated was an honor. So even receiving it was even the best honor. It's just like winning the Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it is because now you know what they feel like. That's what I felt like. Like, oh, my gosh, just being nominated, I was great. But now I, I got the award. But, again, it's why I do it. It's because of the students. I love what I do. I really do, and I'm passionate about it. I now, I guess it shows, <laughs> but I'm passionate about it, and I love what I do, and I love my students. I love working at P and W, and it's just awesome that they gave us the recognition, yeah. and that's what it is. I didn't, you know, just to be recognized that we are here and we're doing a great job. So I think that's just awesome. And your Oscars acceptance speech yes. was just, was fantastic. Very good. It was. <laughs> well, it was you. really good. <laughs> All right, Sal. Uh, how do you feel about being recognized for Founders Day? Yeah, I, I everyone think... everyone was was uh, cheering for you real <laughs> loud. <laughs> I think I just want to echo uh, what's already been said. I was I was really happy to be nominated. I I didn't know. I had no idea. Uh, I actually saw an email from James. Um, uh, oh, congrats on being nominated. And I was like, oh, <laughs> this is my first hearing about it. Yeah. Awesome. Uh, and so uh, on on actual Founders Day, I was shocked um, because of that. That list of people was, was they're really great at their job. Um, and so I'm, I'm happy. I think I feel uh, a little bit like the I was the guy in the right place uh, at the right time. I just so happened to be the guy working in the main zone. Um, uh, space management put a really great place together. Uh, um, we have Lisa Wilson in the Dean of Students office who, uh, kind of helps us uh, procure a lot of our items in the office of student life. And having that wonderful combination, uh, helps me reach the students, uh, with, with some really, uh, awesome programming. So, yeah. I- 
Excellent. Well, thank you, everyone, for, for all of your answers. And our, our time is, is actually up on the PNW yeah. Today Show. See, that went really wow. fast. <laughs> Wasn't that <as> bad? <laughs> so if you want to find out more information about the wonderful students, faculty, and staff that were honored on Founders Day, go to pnw.edu forward slash founders dash day, and you can see the listing of all the folks, as well as some lovely portraits of, of all these people <laughs> smiling with their awards. And uh, I don't think that it can be said enough just how much that we appreciate all of you for the wonderful work that you do. I'm proud to work with you as well. Thank you so much for all that you do in your different uh, capacities and your service to the campus community. Really, it means so much. So congratulations on your Founders Day recognitions. And we'll keep powering onward, right? Yes, <laughs> thank you. And thank so with you. that, that, that uh, concludes the PNW Today show for March 7, 2024. Uh, I believe it's uh, Rick who's going to have the, the headsets next week. So, so we'll see what he's uh, got in store for us as, uh, as we're on spring breaks. With that, right. take care. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday, and we'll see you later.